Hi, we're going to do a comparison video today on Heineken in the uh, Krupp subcompact versus Heineken in a bottle. Um, just to see if there's any difference at all. Uh, I'm going to pour the same into both glasses. We'll, we'll measure um, head retention, how big the head is, lacing, carbonation, smell, taste. Um, and I'll just still, I'll just crack on straight away and open this bottle. I've decided to film on my phone today, so we might be able to see some up close of, of carbonation and whatnot. So we'll try this. Can we open this? Not really any smoke or anything, a little bit on brand. We've got a, a Heineken bottle opener. And then I'll just pour this. Oh, there's, it's quite skunky, is this? Very skunky. I got that from all the way over here. Uh, I've just washed both these glasses, so that's why they're a little bit wet. And we'll keep we'll keep the bottle on that side, and we'll keep the machine on this side. So, so we'll start off. Hopefully, you can see a bit better than the um, previous video, and hopefully, this shows the carbonation. It's not it's not lively, but it's not flat. There is a um, a steady rate of carbonation there, you can hopefully see the bubbles coming through. Um, on initial smell, um, you could tell it's from the bottle. It smells very similar to, um, what was it that I did the other day, so Stella unfiltered out of the bottle. I've gone straight in for a taste test and it tastes um, more skunkier than that Stella was last week. I'm just going to pour one of these onto the um, subcompact. So it's probably worth noting, I've not used this for about a week since I last did the other video and it did just squirt in two channels for some reason out of this hose rather than one nice flow and it's created quite a big head. That pairing with um, me hardly able to get this under there, um, it was difficult to pour properly. I know I've had a bit out of this, um, we'll, we'll top it up in a minute. We're uh, maybe a little bit lighter in here. It's probably good to know as well that this has just come out of the fridge, out of the bottle at three degrees. I'm assuming that this machine is at three degrees as well. Um, it does feel a lot colder out of this machine though for some reason. Uh, Colour wise, we're probably about the same. If this one might be slightly lighter, they're both quite um, like a golden nectar in colour. You obviously saw that I got a massive head on this one, which was two and a half, three fingers. Uh, we'll top this one up to the same level. And then we can see differences. So bubble wise, carbonation wise, I think it's a little bit harsher on uh, a little bit more accelerated on this but still very small amounts of carbonation you can see these bubbles sorry for a bit closer you can see the bubble chasing up that head up that wall you don't really get that out of the bottle you only get it out of the uh, the subcompact As we've come to expect, it is cleaner smelling out of the um, machine. Oh, interesting.
personally, I think there's a big difference in taste here. That skunky aroma, maybe a hint of banana or something on that, on that taste after trying this. It's coming through from there. It's not something that I'd like to be drinking. Whereas this, even though they're both Heineken, is something I would prefer to drink. It feels a lot cleaner. It's a lot. It feels like it's done with fresh water. Whereas this is different. Yeah, it just tastes a lot cleaner, I'd say. As if this has been done with clean water and stored right, and this one has been done with not dirty water, but maybe harder water, and then stored in sunlight in a bottle. Um, I was going to talk about head retention, so there's a bit of, of head which is stuck on the glass on the way down. Um, I know I've topped this one up, but the, there is nothing. Tiny amount of lacing on this. A thinner lacing on this definitely doesn't taste great. Right. So they've both got the same packaging on, they both say pure malt lager, they're both at 5%, both serve code how it says. Both brewed in the UK as well, which is interesting. Um, but definitely two different flavoured lagers, I don't know if you've compared these I know it's quite readily available um, and I like to go for stuff on this machine which is harder to find in the shop it's just if I'm getting the more common beers that you can find in, in supermarkets I will try and do some comparisons like this obviously the smell is a big thing and then capping off this taste worse than the Stella out of the bottle Interestingly, it does have that carbonation. I don't know if you can see that now, chasing that head up. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this review because we're going around in circles. This machine is definitely better. Value for money. They're about the same price, pint for pint. Um, if you have got one of these machines, I wouldn't bother buying the bottle, is my honest opinion. And just stick to stuff that's on this machine. It's it's here for a reason, is this machine, and it's, st it's staying, isn't it? So yeah keep keep supporting the people that are doing these machines they they are better beers even though they're the same beer but yeah thank you for watching if you've had it let me know if you realized a difference or in definitely in taste i know the smell's quite obvious um and just see see what you guys think and i will uh, leave you till the next video thank you for watching